Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Akiba's Trip. Previously, we met the new improved Hyper Zenya, who then proceeded to challenge us to a manly one on one battle. So, you didn't back down after all. You deserve a slow clap for that. What brought you here then? Resignation to your fate? Or delusional confidence. Considering fight wise, we're going, uh, I think it's like four wins to, uh, you know, complete losses on your side, uh, I'm pretty confident. You synthesters are a blight on this town. No one has the right to steal these people's livelihoods. <laughs> what livelihoods? These people only squander their precious mortal time. You see, contrary to popular belief, all men are not created equal. Rather, every man has his worth. Yes, yes. How many villains have uh, preached this, Zenya? Are, are we trying to be original here? And Otaku are no exception. Wow. All they do is consume that which they're given. They make no contribution to society. They pursue no real goal, they're jacks of no trade, and masters of nothing! <sighs> Ouch! Oh, I can feel a burn. It's the natural order of things to drain such cowards dry. Fitting, is it not, that their energy should provide the nourishment we seek. In the great master's plan, each rung in the ladder of society will receive exactly what it deserves. We can shake ourselves free of all the irresolute, spiritless nobodies in this accursed existence. So, did you do all this just to get rid of Otaku? I have no idea what you're talking about, but check out my nice dress. Allow me to spell it out for you in words you can understand, then. You pathetic Otaku aren't needed. Oh. Well, some of us do take things too far, but... I can see you're not about to listen to reason. Which leaves me no choice but to separate your souls from your broken bodies. <laughs> oh, we having souls. That's some crazy stuff. I've got you back. Let's all go. Since Shizuku passive, I need to create a good chain here so I can steal Xenia's outfit. <laughs> I also have complete unupgraded uh, top items, so they'll pretty much go away in one hit. Like that. My wow, more Shindu. Damn, I killed you in both a literal way and in your dignity way. It is. You lost. It's over. I also have your underpants. I'm not like the other Otaku. I put everything, my life itself, on the line. I was going to make this a haven 
of chosen otaku. Only the finest specimens. <laughs> you made your mistake when you decided you were going to make this a haven of chosen otaku and finding finest specimens. In reality, we're all awful. Good enough. Damn it! Was I wrong? Was I not defending this town's righteousness? If not, then everything I've done is... No! No! You're no longer a sympathizer, And until your wounds heal naturally, you'd do well to stay away from this town you love so much. Oh, he's not gonna die? I'm disappointed. But once you've reverted into an ordinary otaku, I look forward to meeting you again on the streets of Akihabara. Uh, I... I... Uh, uh, how could I... I, I'm pretty sure he died, but maybe I'm wrong. Three sheep's katana. I don't know how we did it, but we won. And I'm very glad you're all right. <laughs> Show yourself. You cannot hide from me. So. You've proven yourself superior to Zenya. Who are you again? <laughs> Such a contradiction is man. Uh, no, I, I actually really don't remember who you are. He will fight against an injustice for generations. But as soon as he gains the faintest gleam of power, his conviction begins to falter. Such was the fate of Zenya. He flew too close to the sun, lured by his own predominance, until his wings simply burned away. No, I think he just fought me while I was wearing a very nice dress and I had a giant sword that's really overcompensating. We've all seen his kind before. A man who shows remarkable talent until his first taste of loss. Then, after a single setback, he loses all faith in himself. His invincible self-image cracks and crumbles. <laughs> if only he would have evaluated his failings, learned from them, and grown. Instead, he invested the whole of his being into a drug he knew so little about. Such a pity. I had plans for him. I had hoped he'd be of use for longer. But I can only fault myself for that miscalculation. This entire game is just one elaborate, uh, don't do drugs commercial. So you're the one behind all this. I've been looking for you. For quite a while. Hey, my kids, don't do drugs! You'll turn into a vampire and get burned up by some guy. You know, after he takes off your underpants. Shizuku. After Ren left, I never imagined you too would abandon the Night Eater village. We agree to let no harm befall the humans. When one of us breaks that pact, the rest of us have a duty to set things right. Soga, do you honestly comprehend what it is you're doing? Of course. And I have taken every precaution, I assure you. Fate has already chosen whose lives will continue and whose will not. What gives you the right? Arguing is pointless. The truth of the matter came to me long ago. Did you come to this town and see all the nerds and come up with the same realization Zenya did? And so, I can offer you two choices. Because I just want to tell you, this, this place is kind of unique, and we're kind of unique people. Either leave this town, or sit by and watch as the inevitable comes to pass. You know, we're not really a standard for the human race. You are free to choose whichever best suits you. But no that if you insist on becoming obstacles again, I will not hesitate to crush you. Dude said he was a tourist when I saw him before. His name is Soga Kagutsuki. 
He's from the same Night Eater clan as myself and Rin. And he looks to be the mastermind behind this whole operation. I had a feeling he might be. I just hoped I was wrong. <sighs> Justice Breaker, Otaku. I believe... Yeah. I could send you his, uh... Underpants for stripping him that way. So... You know? <laughs> this is not weird at all. Just wear these. I just stole them fresh. Just put them right on here. Super high school level butt man. Oh, I get it. There, that's an improved smartphone background. I come from a village of night eaters. We're a long lived people, much longer lived than ordinary humans by far. However, our reproductive abilities are... spotty. We're rarely blessed with children, and our numbers are dwindling. Neighboring villages have forgotten we even exist. Most of us have simply accepted that as our fate, and gone on with our lives. <clears throat> but not Soga. He tried to rally the people of the village into actively pursuing some means of keeping the Night Eater legacy alive. Unfortunately for him, no one was interested. I think they'd all given up by that point. The last Night Eater to be born was Ren, and that was over 150 years ago. That means you lied about your age. Well, the jury's still out on the exact time frame there. Then, about two years ago, Soga disappeared. Granny Idol. Rather suddenly at that. It's as if he decided his ruined kin were no longer worth his time, so he turned his back on us and left. Hold up. Are you seriously telling me Rin is over 150 years old? What does that make you, then? My official age is 15, thank you very much. Oh, I see what you did there. That's tricky. Your fake youth never fooled me. I was born about 20 years before Rin, I believe. I like how everyone just ignored me. Though, when you live as long as we do, you stop keeping track after a while. Yeah, my mind's kind of blown right now. I thought you were both young girl characters, but I guess you're actually older woman characters. Don't define people by their appearances. Yeah, Kaido. Back Look on topic, do you know what this Soga person's doing in Akiba? Or why he's gotten involved with the Synthesters? We've been Synthester hunters since the very beginning. But we've had no Synthesters to hunt for at least the past hundred years. Because of that, most of us essentially stopped thinking about them and forgot what they were capable of. So, when the cursed things came crawling out here, I started wondering, could our missing brother have something to do with it? That's when I wrote that nasty letter to keep Shizuku away, then skipped town to find out. Causing me minor trauma in the process. Ouch. <sighs> Regrettably, it seems Rin's intuition was right on the mark. Soga is the one pulling the strings here, without question. So if we do something about him, that'll take care of the Synthesters too? That seems likely, yes. So you're saying we've got to kill the head vampire? How stereotypical. Big Brother's not the only one who's gotten himself caught up in this mess, though. 
Daishi Hunt Pharmaceuticals definitely has their nose in this too. Not sure how deep they go, but still. Hmm. There are other questions as well. Such as, why is this only occurring in Akiba? And why have no other locations been targeted? They really hate nerds and they figured we wouldn't fight back. It's like a next level version of a school bully. You know, when they become vampires. That is a very good question. Maybe it is happening in other places. It could be. Well, if it is, nobody's talking about it on Pitter. I've only been seeing clips about monsters in Akiba. Well, how about that? A real secret society trying to pull some evil plan on Japan. Not Japan, just Akiba. The question remains, why has Soga come here? And why is this town the only place he's targeted? If we can answer these questions, we might be able to get to the heart of the matter. Well, either way, we've still got a long road ahead of us. Maybe now we know who the bad guy is, but that don't exactly solve the problem. Know what I mean? Hello? Ah, good, you're here. You showed up because we mentioned your company, didn't you? Could I have a moment of your time? No. I have a small favor to ask, you see. I don't know how to say this, but could I impose upon you to give me a small amount of your blood? Is this some kind of new age marriage proposal? It's kind of kinky. No, 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 nothing of the sort. As you might recall, I began studying your genetic profile not long after we met. Is that what they call that now? Well. It's been quite some time since I last examined the sample I took from you, so I thought a follow-up might be in order. You are, after all, a rather unique case, existing as both a synthester and a night eater at the same time. And I do feel obligated to help find some means of returning you to human form. So if you'd please give me your left hand, this will only take a moment. Oh, there we are. I'll take this back to the lab at once and see what I can uncover. Is, was that... Can we technically call that a handout? But before I go, I thought I should tell you, you seem like a new man these days. And I mean that in the best possible way, of course. The first time we spoke, you seemed... unreliable. As if you'd fallen into a stream and were just allowing the current to carry you where it may. I think that's... Kind of what's still going on, but you know, we'll, we'll take the compliment. But now, you act of your own volition, with your own goals and desires at the forefront of your mind. It's clear just how much you care for this town, and for your freedom fighter companions. Xion said as Nanashi was staring at his phone, texting his friends. Good to see your sense of humor hasn't changed, but you mustn't tease your big sister so. If I learn anything interesting from the blood test, I'll be sure to let you know. Until we meet again, mon ami. Huh? Wait, was that? Flirting? Yes. Shion Kasugai? What did she want with you? She certainly seemed cheerful. It was my first time, and she took it away. Y your first time? First time for what? What do you think? Anyway, isn't it about time for you to go on patrol? I'll go with you today. As will I. You've been working my sister ragged. It's about time you give someone else a chance. Let's go then, to Jet Street. We're off! See, everyone has a problem in this damn place. We're, we're afraid to communicate to each other directly, despite the fact we're right, like, in the same room. You just send text to each other. Hey, can you come talk to me? I'm right here, next to you.
I intend to give 110%. 110% of zero. Katsu guy swears she has no connection to the organization, right? Right. But if that's the case, what's she after? Why is she even involved with the Freedom Fighters? And with you? I'm gonna give you like some awkward answer. You know that. When we first met, she said she was only interested to learn more about the Synthisters. That's what I mean, though. Why would she be studying them? What does she hope to gain from it? To make a common writer? And once she finds whatever she's looking for, what is she planning to do with it? It just doesn't add up. Cure everyone? Doesn't bother me any, even though I know this is gonna piss you off. Ugh, I am constantly amazed at your oafishness. It's like your brain's a paperweight. It's okay. Miss Kasugai is one of the holy knights who loves Akiba, just like us. I'm certain Akiba is at the front of her mind in all she does. I wish I could believe that. But right now, we've got bigger problems. Those people over there are Synthisters. Yeah, I can tell by their awful fashion sense. Kati, you need to get somewhere safe. I'll cheer for you from nearby. Good luck in the fight. Cue the music and let's rock. This party's getting crazy. Let's do this. Get your Whew. Well, that takes care of that, I guess. You don't seem to be any worse for wear, so I'd call this mission complete. So, Kati, you want to get some tea before heading back? Without him, of course. Whoa! Come on. I'm the hero of this story. Go a little bit easier. Oh no. Hmm? Something wrong, Kati? She's infected. She's lost to us now. Is this a new act for next year? What part of that looks like an act to you? All of it. Kati! Hey! Pull yourself together! Uh, her eyes don't even seem to be in focus. Wait, I'm sensing... No. No, it couldn't be. Call out to her all you want. She won't respond. Uh, big brother! Big bro! I have some business with her, I'm sorry to say. But don't worry, I will do nothing improper. You have my word. Is there a reason you captured the... this person over anyone else in this town? You see, I'm lacking in pawns now, thanks to Xenia's defeat. So I'll be borrowing your maid for a spell. My plan is nearly complete. The final moment is at hand. You couldn't have grabbed any of the other maids? It was like, there was hundreds of them. Stop right there, you pervert. Come, my little foreign princess. Wow. What a creeper. Kati is under your control? She has a special gift. When I saw her before, I must admit, it surprised me. Hurry now. We must be off. Wait! Big brother! I don't sense his presence anymore. Damn it. Even I couldn't stop this from happening. I can't believe he'd actually take control of Kati. Big brother. Well, we can't just stand around feeling sorry for ourselves. We need to let the others know what happened. Let's get back to Mogra. You mess with my maids? Damn it. Now it's personal. How did this... Damn, the internet works fast.
Nothing on my end either. I spoke with the super at Cotty's building, but it seems she hasn't gone home. Been a long time since she vanished, too. Sure hope she's okay. It's not like we just saw a vampire grab her and we know exactly where she is. Phone's going straight to voicemail, and she's not answering any of my emails. Well, I suppose you don't know exactly where she is, but we know who has her anyway. We can't even track her by GPS if her phone isn't on. I actually, I don't think that's true. I sent the word out to everybody I know in town. Told him to call me right away if anybody sees her. I've been checking Pitter, but no one said anything about a foreign maid. Without Raiko around, Mogra feels so sad and lonely. Yeah, don't know when it happened, but she really came to be like the Freedom Fighter's mascot. It's my fault. I was there, but I wasn't able to save her. Don't blame yourself, Rin. If anyone should be blamed, it's me. I'm the one who got you all mixed up in this in the first place. Okay, seriously, just stop. You are like the two most guilt-ridden people I have ever seen. It's ridiculous. Welcome to anime. This is how it works. Can't be sensible and think about what we have to do. You've both helped a ton at cutting down on the number of Synthester victims, you know. Shouldn't that count for something? <laughs> Toko's right. There's no reason to beat yourselves up over this. I wonder what Katie's doing right now. Hmm. That Soga dude said he wouldn't do anything improper with her, right? Ah, oh, Miss Kasugai. Any word on Kati's whereabouts? Nothing yet. Oh dear. I certainly hope she's all right. Well, I don't know about the rest of you lot, but I'm tired of sitting here and worrying about her. If we got no new info yet, then let's get out there and find some. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's split up so we cover more ground. She must still be in Akiba somewhere. Got it. You bet. Let's get moving. And I'm also part of this group. You ain't going, Shion? I'm certainly concerned for Kati's safety, but I actually came to speak with this gentleman. So, are you available to talk? How about... We have ourselves a chat while we aid the others in their search. We can take the park area just before the station. You get my items back from... Suzuku, but she never seems to spawn in this area anymore, and it's really annoying. Damn. She's a good girl, beloved by all, that Kati. I truly hope she's unharmed wherever she is. She's a maid. Purest of beings. <sighs> or should I say maid Odis. Sorry to change the subject, but I wonder if I might ask you a few questions. Firstly, have you been experiencing any physical abnormalities of late? I'm not human anymore. Perhaps feeling a bit sluggish, or having your legs give out from under you, or maybe some slight dizziness? I die instantly if I'm exposed to sunlight. I've been so ninjic, it almost hurts. That's good then. If that should change, however, please be sure you let me know immediately, alright? As it happens, when analyzing that blood sample I took the other day... <sighs> you... Conti, you're all right! I've come... to get you... Get back from her. She's from the wrong kind of anime. The one where they sneak around corners leering and saying gee and holding knives. Get me? I'm flattered, but... She's not herself. She's being controlled. Come to get... you. What do you mean you've come to get him? Can't sustain... body... breaking down. Need to help him... or else... What? His future 
Soga will protect. I don't understand. She means, um, essentially, Come, my dark apprentice. Strike him down and join me on the dark side of the force. Something like that. Come. Come with me. I won't let you take him. You can't just come and drag him away like that. <sighs> if you won't listen, then I'll have to take him by force. I don't think we have any choice but to fight. If Rin is correct, she should be weak to sunlight like all the others now. So let's strip her down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. I got this. We should be useless by now. <laughs> oh, they have the uh, hypers in here. Thing gimmick going on. You forsake your made ways. You all did. For that, you had to be destroyed. We did it. We've stopped her. But now I'm gonna die. Huh? Too much corrupt moe. Heart... Can't take it. Hang in there! What's going on? You're burning up! When I'm fed by the dark side of moe... My life force diminishes. It's just as I thought. You're not well. I'm going to die. A virgin. Please, stay with me. As I said, need to help him. Or else... <sighs> Alright. I believe you. You can take him to Soga if you must. But I have one condition. I'm coming along. He is not to go alone. Oh, very well. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Can you stand? Here, prop yourself up on my shoulder. Well, let's just be inappropriate. Good, good. If you have the energy to make inappropriate comments, I think you'll get through this just fine. We're headed to see Soga. I know it's not ideal, but nothing good can come of you dying on us. In fact, if you die, then everything we've done will be meaningless. So think lively thoughts. I'll make sure you get through this okay. No matter what it takes. Mission success! You nearly died. So your hideout was just like right in front of us all this time. Interesting. So the organization is using the construction site for the new Radio Kaikon building as its headquarters. What an obvious twist! Miss President! You know, you better watch out, he's armed with a golf club. I mean... Ms. Former President. Well, well, if it isn't Sakaguchi. So you do have ties to the organization, just as I suspected. Impressive work keeping me from proving it all this time. N never mind me. Why are you here? Why, indeed. She's here because I summoned her. Soga, sir! 
Actually, it's only the boy I summoned. The other one's an unexpected bonus. Oh? Is there some reason I shouldn't be here? No, no, you're quite welcome, I assure you. By all accounts, you're a rare prodigy in the fields of medicine and biology. Elected CEO at such a young age, you are, or were, like a modern-day noblewoman. Your, uh, dialogue style really needs to keep with the times. And since you've come, I can only assume you intend to help us realize our goal. Or perhaps... Let's just say I'm listening. Though, if you want my help, I must forewarn you. It'll come at a price. Oh? And what might that be? First, you release Kati Raikkonen. And second... Let me guess. I saved the boy's life. I see we're on the same page. Those are my two conditions. Do we have a deal? Come on, just one more and it'll be three wishes. Man, I can really talk some shit despite the situation, can I? <sighs> this is all I can do right now. You won't last much longer as you are. So good, sir. You promised that if I drove this woman out of the company, you'd... The lady and I are speaking, Sakaguchi. And I prefer not to be interrupted again. Besides, it wasn't you who drove her out. As I recall, she left of her own volition, no? So, everything is as it should be. And if you misunderstood our terms, that is strictly your fault. Uh, my, my deepest apologies, sir. Now, back to the matter at hand. In regards to your first condition, Kati will be released shortly. Though not before I erase a few of her memories. You understand. I specifically erase the one that just happened in that park, because that's a bit traumatizing. As long as she's safe. You might as well do that one for me, too. As for the boy, the affliction he suffers runs deep. I cannot say for certain that I'll be able to cure him right away. What? But that means... Please, hear me out. I intend to do all that I can. First things first, I'd suggest he be adorned with this rosary. That should help keep his Night Eater side under control. His case is a complex one, having been transformed from a Synthester to a Night Eater's familiar. I fear the two powers are fighting one another within him, placing the very structure of his body in danger of breaking down. With that rosary suppressing his Night Eater blood, however, he should feel slightly better soon. But the Night Eater blood is the cool side. <laughs> Maybe I feel better. Maybe I don't. Suck it. He didn't say it was an instant cure. Give it time, and I'm sure you'll feel like yourself again. So, have I cleared your conditions then? For now, I'm afraid I have work to do. But when I need you, I will call. Understood. Now you are true Dark Jedi. I suppose we can't very well go back to the Akiba Freedom Fighters now, can we? As I said before, please don't worry about me. Things do look bleak, but we've learned one very important fact. That everyone's a real stereotype down there? Your physical ailments come from the conflict between your Synthester blood and the Night Eater blood. If we could isolate one or the other and remove it from your body, or perhaps... I can't promise immediate results from this, but I believe there may be something I can do for you. For now, though, you absolutely need caloric intake to help your body recover. In my professional opinion, we should go for some curry. Sweet. You jelly? 
Yeah, you Damn. can. Oh, we got some mail. Kaido. You tell. Toko. Rin. Katie. Mmm, delicious misunderstandings. <laughs> 